I now have six S19J Pro ASIC miners in my farm. Let's take a look at how things are going. I bought each of these in pairs, and each pair is a different model and speed. I've got two 95 terahash, a couple of 100 terahash, and a pair of 104 terahash machines. Not only that, but I'm experimenting with the beta of the ASIC.to overclock on all of them to varying degrees. Here's how they're doing. Also, we're in a dip right now. So it's a good moment to gather some more sobering data about what I'm estimating is the low side of the ever swinging profit that is Bitcoin mining. Altogether, and this won't even be the same tomorrow, Bitcoin dropped like 5% two days ago. And who knows where it's going to be a week from now or three months from now. But right now, these machines are earning about $160 a day. That's $4,800 a month or an average of about $800 per machine, a $60,000 salary. This is, of course, after our little dip the last couple of days. These same machines are producing about $180 a day just last week. And I honestly expect them to be right back up there in January. Each machine is also burning through about 72 kilowatt hours of electricity daily to the tune of about seven or eight bucks. Although my mind is split between my warehouse which is about 11 cents per kilowatt hour, and the she shed, which I think is only at eight cents per kilowatt hour. And we've got a whole roof full of solar producing something like 8,000 watts as long as the sun is shining, which my God, the sun is shining now. So figuring out the actual profitability of an upcoming month for me is a bit of a guess, but I pay something like $1,300 a month in electricity bills for these S19J Pros when you combine both locations. So if the numbers don't change in the next 30 days, and they will, at this moment, the S19s are profiting about 3,500 US dollars worth of Bitcoin per month after all expenses. I've also got three L3 Pluses and five RTX 3080 GPUs running on this mine. But this video is about S19J Pros specifically, so I've peeled out their electricity and profit data for this calculation. I know a lot of people like to spend a lot of time and energy thinking about how long it'll take your hardware or nodes or stakes or whatever, how long it's gonna take these things to pay themselves off. And people make spreadsheets and precise calculations taking into account the price of electricity and the filter changes and the number of cups of coffee you drink when you're doing all the upkeep. <laughs> and that's a fine thing to do. I don't want this next part to sound like it's something I think you shouldn't be doing. But in reality, you can't even get close to knowing when your machines are gonna ROI. Look, I know people are using that term wrong, but it's pretty cemented in at this point, just let it happen. You can calculate the exact amount of time it's gonna take for your S19J Pro to churn out $12,000 all day. And then you'll wake up tomorrow and find out that Ford or Walmart or whatever decided to accept it as currency and suddenly the price has jumped up by $15,000 and your calculations are off by four months. Imagine the margin of error for the people that were trying to work this out in March of 2021. Was that in March? Whatever, they got out their green translucent visors and figured out to the day what percentage of a $69,000 Bitcoin they would need to hash free in order to be at zero. But Bitcoin didn't see the wet floor sign at the top of that Mayan ruin when he was on vacation with his family and he slipped and fell halfway down the stairs. Instead, I like to think of it more as purchasing a salary, sadly with mining an ever shrinking salary too. But I can spend a hundred grand and basically buy a six figure income. Or in my case, I can use someone else's money to buy myself that income and then make payments on that bar money with the new income that I bought. What could possibly go wrong? Bitcoin mining is a constant hash rate race, and therefore more computing power is added to the entire network every single day. That means that each machine on the network will make a little bit less money all the time forever. At the same time though, the price of Bitcoin on a long scale has only ever gone up on a longer timeline that has always made Bitcoin mining a profitable venture. Of course, these forces of network difficulty and price of Bitcoin are not on a balanced scale, and it's hard to guess which one will win out. There are overclocks coming out for the S19J Pro for both Brains and ASIC.to, which means that however fast I can get these machines under an immersion cooling system, I can basically turn six miners into the equivalent of nine miners but so can everyone else. So just as fast as I catch up to the new difficulty, it may speed up in tandem. So we race. See you back at home. <laughs>